Hello everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast. This is Zerul again, your conductor for this impending train wreck of an episode. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and get started with the next part of um, Applied Interjects. We're going to go and work on the, the ME crafting system. Let me go and show you a few things that I've done here in the, in the interim since the last episode, and then we'll dive right into this. Um, first thing is I went ahead and I've got myself set up an assembly table. I've only got four lasers at the moment, but uh, I've got some space for a few more. Um, so I can start making some things with the uh, project table here at some point with the uh, with the assembly table. I got myself a uh, jack pat because it was well, frankly, real simple and easy to make there. Uh, bat box, advanced circuit, some iron and glowstone, and this has been pretty interesting. Although with the skin and that armor, it almost looks like a superhero outfit or something. Uh, let's see here. Um, I went ahead and uh, went up to a total of four of these setups here. I've also got a monitor down here at the end. This will tell us how much of any particular substance we have going. Uh, so this is automatically feeding netherrack into each of these. It's producing lava, feeding into the these here. And then we're not running into anything extra at the end at the moment. I went and took the uh, thermal generator out because I don't need... Uh, IC power at the moment beyond what I've got. So I'm not running too much in the way of uh, IC items at the moment. Um, but uh, this should suffice for the moment and eventually we'll, we'll start pumping this into things like uh, energy tesseracts and energy cells and that kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. I went ahead and made myself a couple of uh, aquatic gates. I believe that's called there. Um, basically th uh, this uh, right here basically says if there's no redstone power, you do an energy pulse, and this works a lot better than a, um, um, if I can actually think properly today, redstone engine. Uh, let's see here. Anything else that we've really done? Uh, we've still got the quarry going. Ah, I went ahead and started my first little bit of automation. I've got this to pull out these seven bits of uh, ore automatically f um, so they come in from the quarry into this get fed into the automatic system and then it gets pulled from here into the pulverizer which then sends it to the smelter and this goes into here I'll get around to having this that sucked back out again later but for the time being this is pretty much what we've gotten so far well actually a little bit more than this that I've spent but this is pretty much what we've gotten so far for, from the quarry so we're going to go ahead and work on the auto crafting system so um, to start off we need well this is going to be a multi-block setup there the smallest we can do this is going to be three by three um, with uh, well, in fact let's just go and pull this up here there we go so we need there we go um, First of all, we need three by three for the ascent, for the container walls there. We'll be able to reuse this if we want to make this bigger later, but for the time being, we need to start off small because I don't have sufficient resources to go beyond that at the moment, I don't think. Each one requires four gold, a quartz, and four iron. So since this is going to be three by three, um, that is going to be, should be 20, so we need um, 80 iron, 80 gold there. Next, so let's just go and pull this out. I should have, so 64. Yeah, we got plenty of there. And then let's just go and grab it. That should be good enough for the iron. I can go grab the other stuff later. Um, next, we need, let's see here, one, two, three, four, six, because it's going to be six sided. We need, we'll need six heat vents. So the heat vent is more iron and more iron and some cables. So we'll be able to do that later. Let's just go ahead and grab another stack of iron just in case. And then we're going to have space for one pattern encoder. Uh, let's see here. Is that the pattern encoder that we're looking for? I believe it is. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to go with yes. So... Pattern encoder, more iron, conversion matrix. All right, so let's go ahead and get down here and start to put this together. Actually, let's let's go ahead and use this crafting table to make it simple here. All right, so first off, actually, I probably shouldn't throw it on there, but that's okay. We need 20, um, 20 containment. 
So, golden and diamond, quartz in the center, iron in the corners. So, gold, one, two, three, four. Iron, one, two, three, four. And then, quartz. Alright, so let's go ahead and get 20 of these. Now let's go ahead and run upstairs because we're going to be putting this up here. So let's place this. Actually, do we have enough space up here? Yep. Let's go ahead and just put this downstairs. Nope. Oh, it was already open. Uh, do we actually have space? If we want to make it bigger, we won't have space. This is running straight up. Changing my mind yet again. Uh, do I have some cables? I need some cables. That'd be okay for the time being. Alright, so at the moment this is not going up this far. But we can make it we can make it fit. Alright, so this room. One, two, three. So one. All right. So we've gotten our sides for this made. Next, let's see here. We need a heat vent. So we need a total of six of these. So all right. So let's see, I believe it's like that. Nope, still in the corners. Do we have any iron bars? No, we don't, so we need to make some iron bars first. Yeah, that's good. And one, two, three, four. And a cable. Six, check. So, one, two, three, out, four, five. We'll leave this front so we'll have one space in the center for a pattern encoder to actually encode our patterns, if that makes sense. All right, next, uh, so we need a pattern. Let's see here, encoder. Either pattern encoder or pattern provider, one of the two, I believe it's the encoder. So uh, let's just go make a conversion matrix real quick. She actually got some of that downstairs. And back down here. Uh, conversion matrix one. So crafting table and then seven iron. see here let's see if this works for us we need four wood uh, one two three four and let's see if I am remembering my wiki information correctly Donk. And I don't think I've got the correct one. Nope. I think I've got the correct part I need to create the patterns, but I don't have... Alright, back downstairs. All right, so this is a pattern provider, so we need another crafting table. Yeah, I already got one. I've got iron. Uh, aha, I need an advanced processor, which means a diamond. 
So diamond duck duck silicon. Do I have any silicon? Yeah, I probably could have had this all working and put together before I uh, got to this point. Let's just grab like seven. Seven sounds good. It's a nice non-even number. Ow. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Blaze. I have attempted to move this, but as soon as I break this, a blaze would pop out and start attacking me, and I really don't want to deal with that. Yep. Apparently it just went back, back, back to the inventory. There we go. Get some more, uh, donut on the cob. Alright. There's that, that goes there. Cutting knife goes here. We cut ourselves an advanced processor. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Ow. And cook this over for us. Once the rest of the silicon cooks. Ah, apparently it's already cooked. Excellent, all right. Let me downstairs, come on. Alright, so, stored cell is four quartz uh, processor and four redstone. I've already got plenty of these processors already made up. Good, that's fine. Um, I need two conversion matrixes, and I need more iron. Iron! Cool, alright. So, we have iron, 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 iron. And that there. Those there. That there, and... Crafting table here. Alright, let's give this a try now. Oh, let me up. Alright, out. Alright. And. Ta da! Alright, we have it going. So, this by default doesn't require any of the CPU upgrades. The CPU upgrades will give us the ability to do extra. Uh, crafting operations per tick. This one, just building it in general, starts with one, and then the one chamber in the center there gives you the ability to put all of these different types of uh, patterns down. Now, we need to connect this to the network. So, let's go make ourselves some more cable. Let's see here. So, we need three dust for this. Actually, let's just go ahead and grab the cable out first. All right, let's see here. Cable. All right. One, two, three. Surrounded by glass. And can I click correctly? Yeah, that's good enough. And then redstone. Dunk. All right. Now we've got to string it up. So let's run it right this way. Uh, let's see here, actually. You know what? We can run it. Sh oh. Dur, I don't even need to worry about doing that. I keep forgetting. Uh, that you can. What did I break now? Uh, brick. You 
can run it right from the top of this here. So right past the window, but don't care about the looks, just so long as it works correctly. Go. Actually, let's do it right there. Let's just plug it right into the bottom. Go. All right. So this is now tied into the network. Let's go check and see what our usage went up. It was at like 32 originally, or 33. Let's see what this brings us to. You know, let's just. All right. This brings us up to 36. All right. So. Next, the pattern encoder, I don't know if this needs to be connected to the network or not. Apparently it does not, all right. So let's put this right upstairs, right next to it. Nah, actually let's put this somewhere else. Let's put the pattern encoder right there. And let's put this grindstone right here Dunk. all right so we have our encoder now we need to make some patterns so the blank pattern is going to be iron quartz glowstone and glass all right so iron glass Need to cook some more sand up. Glowstone. And quartz. There we go. That is our blank pattern. So there it goes there. And whoa. All right, so what is the first thing we probably want to encode? Now let's do this. Uh, and redstone. And iron. So we place these like this. It's actually phantom items there. And we click on this, and we encode. We have crafts one electronic circuit with the items we've chosen. So now to insert it, we go up here. Thunk. We have it inserted. Now, if you hold down shift, it'll show you which item you have that can be made there. Perfect. And then let's go down here. So let's say we want circuit. We don't have any, but if we click on this, it will craft us one. Well, craft is how many we ever want. So let's go and do one. There's one. There we go. Cool. And this right here will let us sort through the items we can craft and the items uh, that is stored. There we go. Perfect. So anytime we pull it out, there we go. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much it for this. Um, since we've got a little bit more time, I'm going to do a uh, start a couple more things. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's see here, let's go ahead and make ourselves a stamper. Alright, so this is going to be pretty simple. We need a piston, a table, iron, and cobblestone. This is an item from factorization. So let's, in fact, let's make another one of these for pistons. Uh, so we have iron, redstone, wood, cobblestone. So let's go back over to this. Cobble, 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 cobble. There. Because I used pistons quite a bit. And code, piston. Uh, 
piston. Check. Oh, this thing is incredible. It does use up energy every time you craft something, but you know what? I can I can deal with that. Uh, so let's throw this back in here. So you know what? Let's uh let's do the blank pattern. Ah, uh, shouldn't have done. That. Oh well, I'll do that in a minute here. All right, so we got the cables. We got that. We don't need any more cables. Let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. So we need a piston. We only need one. And we need a crafting table. There we go. Cobblestone. Now what this is going to let us do, this is going to let us get some diamond shards, I believe. In fact, let me double check my information real quick. Alright. Let's see here. The craft packet stamper, I believe. Here's that. It. We have to make diamond shards. Alright. Which requires diamonds and... Yes, it is in a stamper using a diamond block, some obsidian, and some TNT. Alright, so we do need that. And it does not require any power. All right, we have our stamper. Now let's place this there. Uh, let's see, is this what we're looking for? Let's see here. There's that. All right. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make ourselves some iron blocks also. In fact, let's just go and throw a full stack of this in the compressor. Because we're going to be needing some iron blocks here to make some dark iron ingots. Which we're going to be using to make some upgrades over here. Um, for our barrels. Um, to, and we're going to tie in the barrels using storage buses into our ME storage network there. To increase our storage drastically um, you can the barrels hold quite a few stacks of items and you don't go to more stacks until you start working with the 16k storage units there which we don't won't need for quite a while so the barrels should uh, work perfectly fine for us there and save us from power uh, since we're not having to worry about using that there and um, it is pr actually a little cheaper uh, from from everything there for getting all that uh, so let's see here we need a yep so we need some diamond shards let's see here packet craft packet maker same thing but it's on the kind of on the bottom all right so so let's make one piston So let's grab a couple more stone. Piston on top, crafting cable. Ah, there we go, maker. There we go, all right, and then some craft packets. All right. Let's do one more thing. Let's see. Do we have any gun? We don't have any gunpowder. All right. So I'm gonna have to go on the go on a creeper hunt. Um, get myself some gunpowder. Um, probably make it some other methods. I'll, I'll investigate that off, off camera there. And um, next time we're gonna make ourselves some diamond shards, make ourselves some barrel upgrades, and we're gonna tie in this room here with all of these barrels into our ME storage network and use this to to get some additional storage. So, I uh, hope you all have enjoyed watching this uh, introductory uh, section here with the um, 
um, beginnings of auto crafting. Um, also, I've got this set up over here. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to die. We're gonna be turning this into a factory here. Um, move out from our machine shop and actually get a bunch of machines going on at the same time. So that'll be fun there. I have to slaughter them all and put them in a soul shard. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, one other thing that I didn't mention before. Um, I was getting a little tired of manually going through and breaking all of these. So I went ahead and set up a little uh, automatic uh, harvesting system for uh, cactuses. Here we go. It uh, causes a uh, piston, sticky pistons blow to show up. Grab a whole bunch of, uh, or show up in between, and when they're adjacent to cactuses, the cactuses pop off the ground, and there you go. So, really cool. Technically, I can wait for those guys to come pick everything up, but I need to replant anyway. There's someone down here. Die. Die, die, die. Come on, die. Go. Whoa. Ow. Stupid cactus. Alright. Anyhow. Well, uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. If you have any suggestions on things I can make, go ahead and throw it in the comments. And, uh, and I'll uh, try and uh, do what I can. And, uh, uh, here we go. And then uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope everyone has a great day, and, and uh, enjoy. Bye-bye.